Good day guys, welcome back to another episode. We're gonna be touching on the new upgraded filters from Fast Diesel Fuel Systems. So I have the Fast Titanium Series 150 lift pump on my Duramax. It's been an awesome lift pump, absolutely love it. But Fast has now updated their filters. They have uh, raised the prices a little bit, but that's kind of the, the norm for anything. Prices always go up for stuff. I do wanna to touch on the filters, show what the old ones look like, and show what the new ones look like, because for me, I was kind of confused because I couldn't find my old filters that I needed for my lift pump. So for their water separator filter, it had the nice little drain on the bottom. Although it's nice, I never used it. I never found the need to use it. Uh, one thing I always was kind of leery about is if a rock or a piece of road debris caught it and opened it up, and drain the fuel, never happened. Don't really hear of that happening, but those are just weird little things that you worry about sometimes. So now their new filters do not have that drain on the bottom of them. For their new water filter separator, this is what it looks like. You can see that it is a lot shorter and smaller. I will do a comparison of the original filters on here with these filters as well with both of them. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but now they have a little logo for the water separator, the little water droplet. It's the extreme water separator is what they call it. Um, there is the part number right there. If you guys are looking for the part number, the one thing that they did that I really like and I think is really cool is now on the filters, they show you the filter location of where it goes on your fast lift pump. For the fuel filter, it is basically the same size. There is the part number. So both these filters are shorter. Same thing, shows you the location for the filter, but you can see they are both the same size. They changed the labeling on it just a little bit, but both these filters are the same size. Neither one has the drain on the bottom. You can get an XL for the extended length for people that want an extended period of time for their filters of changing them. Me, personally, I always stay on top of my filters. I always stay on top of changing them because for me, that is cheap insurance to change out the filters rather than having other problems down the road. But as you can see, there is the water filter separator and the fuel filter. Those are the part numbers in case that is something you're looking for and needing. And I mentioned that this is the Fast 150 Titanium Series lift pump that I have on my Duramax. So I'm gonna bring you guys around, show you the filters that are on there. We'll do the comparison. Filter changing is still exactly the same as it was before. Really don't need to go over that. I will show what I like to do to fill these filters up. I do not pre-film. I let the fast lift pump do it itself. That is the best way because you are putting unfiltered fuel on the unfiltered side. It's gonna filter it to fill both of them up and then you tighten the one up. I'll just show that real quick as well. But we will get into looking at the filters that are on there. But I think these are gonna be nice because it's gonna tuck them up a little bit more and you're not really gonna see them hanging down like they are right now. So here's a quick comparison, as I mentioned. This was the water separator with the drain on the bottom. There's the part number. There is the fuel filter with the part number on it. Of course, it did not have the drain. So here is the new fuel filter and water separator. And as you can see, they are quite a bit smaller. Uh, they're, not cr they're not crazy small, but they are smaller. There's a side-by-side -side right there. Nothing wrong with that. You can get the XLs, as I mentioned, that are gonna be probably, I would imagine, close to this length here. Um, so if you want that extended life, that longer, more filtration, though the filtration is not more, the filter element inside is definitely gonna be more, so it's gonna be a longer interval that you can get with it. But those are the filters that we're replacing with these two here, and those are the new part numbers that you're gonna be using to go with. That one's kinda hard to see, because reflection. But the 3002, for the water and the 3001 for the fuel. So that is what is upgrading these filters here. So when I go back on with my filters, I always go on with the filters dry, as I mentioned. Um, I will put them on there. This is the front one. This is the water separator. As you can see on the location on the filter, it goes on the front. This one, I do not tighten up. I leave it loose for the way the fuel flows through it. I turn the key on, let it fill the filters. Once it fills this one, it'll start spewing up. Then I tighten it by hand and then the filters are full. So that is the way I like to do it on here because that is the safest way of filling the filters and the easiest and not getting contaminated fuel on the clean side of your filter element down inside. So that is the water separator. This is the fuel filter, filter location on the back. One cool thing I like, we'll open this up. 
is they have a metal ring inside right here. You pull that out and this is going to be the gasket that you need to make sure you put onto the nipple on the fast lift system. So you can just take that, just pop it off of here and then go ahead, put that on and then tighten this back filter up. You always wanna make sure that you remove the old one before you put that new one on. Always replace it. It's, it comes with the filter. It's easy to do, but then just go ahead and put your filter on the back. This one we will tighten up, unlike the water separator, to go ahead and prime the system. Now that those filters are on, the water separator filter right here is loose. We're gonna go ahead and turn the key on. It's gonna fill those. Once it starts spewing fuel, we'll tighten it up. All right, so there it is with the new fast lift pump filters. As you can see, mine's a little bit crooked, but they do not hang down much at all. This is this is like ground level with it. If you stand up, you can't even see them. They're tucked up in there. So that new shorter filter is definitely really cool. I like that a lot. That is the updated filters. All right, so there you go. There's the updated filters for the fast. My, like I said, mine's a 150 titanium series. Those are the new filters for it. They go on, they look great. I do like that smaller design because they're tucked up in there. But if you want that longer look, you can definitely get the longer ones too. But hopefully this video is helpful if you're looking for the filters and you cannot find your original part numbers because they have updated to these filters. So hopefully this video is helpful for you guys. And I wanna thank you all so much for stopping and checking out this video. Remember to smash that thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. Ring the bell, turn on all post notifications. And I will catch you guys all in the next one. And until then, take care.